my new cock name is Howie Seuss and my birth name that was given is Chris. It takes us back to the beginning of time and the creation of the world when the earth was yet cold and frozen. We didn't have our sun or our stars yet. Our elders say everything was Howie Seuss, the color of copper or golden color. That is my new cock name, Howie Seuss, given to me from my dad's father, my grandfather. And more and more people are coming in through here and would like to know about us. And I know our elders like to tell a story anyways, and, and I've kind of helped it along a bit more by having the Copper Sun Ventures. On my tours, this is the most important part of my tour, the petroglyphs, is the introduction, because it tells where the New Hulk people have come from. You'll see that the story starts with a circle, that circle represents the earth, that we're all connected within that circle, sharing this place together. This earth is our home. Coming here today, you found yet another piece of your home. That our home is your home. That's how welcoming the New Hulk have always been. You'll see the face there. You see the mouth coming out the front of that? And then there's eyes on either side of that and the eyebrows and the forehead. We call them the Herald. He's heralding to the north because the trail comes in from the north, inviting everyone to witness what was placed here on stone. That witnesses have always been important to the Newhawk. Phil Hobler of Simon Fraser Uni University brought the students up here. He guesstimated these to be four or 5,000 years old. And I think to them to be more closer to 5,000 years old. There's so many stories that I've learned through my life that uh, it's hard to talk about it in just a two hour tour that we offer. That we too must move forward like the frog. You never hear of a frog that hops backwards in its life, that it's always moving forward when it moves. Ista kawi to always look on. Ayos from where you are. Ista insali within yourself. See speak forming a star. Sun Kalokla, the shining sun. Make sure there's somewhat of a connection that people could feel, leave that open for people to experience. All our main villages were along the Bellacula River. That's where our, our longhouses were and our, our totems that told our Smayusta, our family lineage. So this totem here, was carved by, the name is on the gallery here, Silius Gallery, and this was his first totem that he, that he ever carved. Down at the bottom, you could think of this as Silius himself, holding the salmon, kind of representing his young fishing days. Above that is uh, the suit, the killer whale, the orca. That's from his mother's side. Above that, you'll see the eagle, the eagle is uh, his father's, his father's crest. Thanks for watching Great Bear Tales. If you have any comments, questions, tips for visitors, or just want to share your own story from the Great Bear Rainforest, please leave them below. We read every post. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Great Bear Tales channel. It really does make a difference.